Ari Shalom. We want to start this lesson now by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstones. Salutations to all the other I can push this word between sincerity and with charity. Shalom. And uh, you got the brother Yadaya. Tazawar. Brother Zakaria. And Shemaya. From the great millstone uh, uh, camp out of uh, Chicago, man. Yeah, we coming back with another uh, lesson, man. Hopefully it's edifying. Uh, we're going we're gonna to enable this. Uh, follow the ancient past man so yeah man looking at the condition of the so-called negroes latinos and native americans man they totally revolted and gone man they destroyed right now man we in a low place man but that's all because uh we not following the ancient past man you got our people falling out the ways of the heathen man you got them uh we uh we uh oppressed so you know we can't even do we can't even serve our lord the way we should serve our lord man let me go ahead grab a jeremiah 18 and 5 oh okay 18 and 15. It's like. So 18 and 15. Come. Jeremiah chapter 18 and verse 15. Because my people have forgotten, have forgotten me, they have burned incense, they have burned incense to vanity, uh, and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the path from the ancient paths. Now, to, uh -oh, it's like, you can keep on. to walk in the paths and in a way not cast up. A lot of Jake's taking part of this uh this, this westernized uh civil uh philosophy, man. They totally they, they you got Jake's being so called uh atheist not believing in the in the most high no more. Mm -hmm. Uh it's uh can you reread it for me? Time. This is Jeremiah eighteen and fifteen. Because my people have forgotten me, they have burned incense to vanity and, and they have caused them to stumble in stumble in their ways you got jake worshiping uh virgin mary's you got uh worshiping a box man they uh burning incense man worshiping all his all his vanity all his uh all these idols man that can't do no good can't do no bad can't move kind none of that continue and it's a kind it's a stumbling block to him man mm -hmm. it's a whole trap for them man come on just like on like on sundays man they don't even know that they worship in the sun god, like the sun. Like they worship in the sun on Sunday. Bro. God, and it's in our law not to worship uh, what's in the heavens. Come on. And then they go into these churches, you know, the man-made temples. The Lord don't even dwell in man-made temples, man. We are a temple alone, man. God. You know? Yeah, man. Ultimately, what uh, led us into this uh, to this uh, into this predicament was us not following the ancient past. Our past of our... Uh, of the, our righteous fathers, man. Cool. We fell off. We didn't keep our end of the covenant, man. So the Lord had to punish us. Go ahead, bring it out. Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 7. It says, Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. We have no instruction nowadays, man. You, we don't have nobody to go back and tell us, yo, you an Israelite, man. Well, we do now, but before, man, we didn't have those things, man. And, and now we got those things, man, because of the, from the apostles of the elders on down, man. God. You know, that's who we look forward to, man. That's who teaching us this truth, man. Like the scriptures say, my son, thou shalt be taught, man. Be taught what? The ancient path, man. The ancient, right. The ancient path is the way of life, man. Come on, that first estate that we was once in, man. The godly way, man. You know, keeping the law and statute commandments and do it to the best of our ability, man. Come I got another one. Uh, this Psalm chapter 143 and verse 5. It said, I remember the days of old. No, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. uh, no, Isaiah. No, no, no. Forget, never mind, forget it. <coughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Salaki. Psalms 143 and verse 5. It said, I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands. So we supposed to meditate upon these scriptures, man. Like the scriptures say, we supposed to meditate upon the Lord's word day and night, man. You know, and that's remember the days of old to know. How the future gonna turn out, you know? How to walk as an Israelite. Uh -huh. You got something to tell you No, I'm looking for something. No, I got something. This is um this is Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were uh whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Alright, man? So hey, uh all these things that was written inside the scriptures, man. Life. All right, we're written for a four time, man. All right, we're, we're written for our learning. All right, so so we know what to do. All right, so we know not to worship other gods. 
All right, so we are know not to uh, 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 try to have sex with our sisters. All right, so that we are know not not to um, uh, go out from the law. You how about smell shy? Lest we be jacked up, man. Man, Jake's so messed up nowadays, man. They believe that uh, they they believe that the white man is God, man. They believe that the, the so-called white man, they philosophy is better than God's, man. Like what the like? Come on now. You, uh, the scripture say you cannot serve uh, the Most High and man, man, man. man, man. man. How you gonna say that uh it says it's a scripture that say uh they rather serve the creation than the creator? I get it, I get it. Con, can you grab that from me, man? Yeah. It, it was on my spirit, man. I heard somebody say that, like, uh, you know. Well, you can see it with a lot of people, man. You tell them like, yo, uh they be like, Oh, you can't go have sex with a girl that's fifteen, fourteen, you know, uh if the scripture say if a woman is past the age of uh, the flower for age, man, yeah. you can take her, man. But then you got people you got Western now, you got uh uh uh, my eyes. uh Negro pens that say, "Oh man, that shit is foul, man." When all over the country, you got uh, uh, other other countries that got uh, even lower uh, dates to have to technically, you know, that a woman is a uh, girl is so called able to have sex, man. But the scriptures tell you that basically when this, when this, when she goes through this, she can have it, man. But when we say it though, they look at us like, "Oh, God, a pervert, or that that ain't right, man." That that's totally off, man. The most high created everything. How you gonna tell him that he he doing something wrong? Mm. How you gonna tell him that the creation is doing better than him or knows better than him? <laughs> he he said the Lord said, My thoughts are not your thought, my ways are not your way. Exactly. So we, you you, you he, his name is the most high. Like <laughs> above, he said he there is no power with him. <laughs> it's just him. Like the ones above him, man. So these women is out there, they bugged out, man. Niggas too. God, niggas, man. niggas too, man. I got a piece of the, what that you called out here. Like, uh, this Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. It said, Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship and serve the creature mm -hmm. more than the creator who is blessed forever? Amen. You got you got people twisting the scriptures, man, saying that the scriptures is false, man. Screaming at the saying that it's something wrong with the scriptures, man. You got uh people trying to bash the uh uh, uh bash the scriptures because it's slavery laws. Okay, it is slavery laws, but that tells you how to deal righteously with them. And then they go and say, yeah, I still believe in the Bible, though. But but they don't read it, though. But you see something that you go, but that you don't agree with, man. And you offend it. But uh, the brother Zakari just quoted, man, we not on the same vibration. We don't think the same as the most high, man. He know he knows everything. He knows what's good and what's bad, man. We can't, we don't think the same as him, man. We can't let our emotions, what we feel, over, uh, make the truth of the most high to a lie, man. Right. That's why we got to remember that ancient path, man. You know, we got to remember the ways of our forefathers, man. God. The way that they walked, man. Because we, we've been beaten from our, out of our heritage, man, to, to, to learn this westernization way, man. You and know? But now the Lord says, seek him ten times more when we come <laughs> to serve him to remember our, who we I'm are, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it. You know? We got to seek the Lord ten times more, man. And not, not even just ten times more. That's even more, man. We can't even go far enough in this thing, man. I you know? This is Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 2. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. All right? So, hey, man, the Lord has given us good doctrine, man. All right? So, hey, we, we are not to go astray from, from these laws of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, man. We are not supposed to follow the ways of the heathen. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. All right? We are not supposed to uh, uh, go after their gods, man. All right? We, we, we're not supposed to follow their customs. All right? The Lord has given us good doctrine and good law. We're supposed to follow it, man. That's the end all be all. Uh, this is Baruch 4 and 28 it says for as it was your mind to go straight from the most high mm. so being returned seek him 10 times more man yeah man we went we all went astray at some point in time man but you know as we come back and tell us we gotta seek the lord more man you got jakes that's so bugged out man they they they, they say that they you got atheist jakes man you got them believing in all types of stuff man Bro, this dude, bro, this dude was on Facebook. He literally said, "I do not believe that there's no God. He can suck my dick." Who out the band? I'm bro, like, like yeah, niggas, like it. these niggas out here bugged out, bro. They don't even believe that it's a creator. They just popped, poofed out of thin air and ended up on Earth, bro. Kind of everything was created. Somebody created something. Somebody Come created on. this car. Somebody created nah. the hands that created that this car. Nah, they it all goes they created back. Is Esau? Con, they, they believe hey, his big bank theory. Hey, can, can, can I bring this out? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is Psalm chapter 14, verse 1. The fool have said in his heart, there is no power. Ooh. They are corrupt. <laughs> they 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 have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. 
All right, man. Kind the same people that saying there's no power, man. It's the same ones doing wicked shit that they don't want to, you know, come to light, man. Be uh, just uh, tested of, man. Hey, man, and you a fool, man. And you a fool. The scriptures called you a fool, Bo, man. Bo, the brother just read it in Psalms chapter fourteen to one. It said, "There is none that do it good." Even your Howard Shaw said, "Why call me good?" Well, he said, "Only call the Father good." Right. Uh-huh. So <laughs> you 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 just basically need to your own understanding, like the scripture said not to do, man. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 please. Oh, yeah. This Romans 9 and 20, it says, Nay, but O man, who art thou um, that replies um, that replies against your how? Who, how, the, how? Who are you to reply against the Most High, man? <laughs> <laughs> like to question him. Exactly. How are you going to question who made you? Um, shall the thing formed say to him that formed it? So is you going to talk back to you, the creation, going to talk back to the creator? Why has thou made me thus? Why has why have you made me this? Why have you made me something? Why why can why can you um, talk to uh, girls that young? Uh, uh, Esau said they gotta be eighteen though. Hey, right, 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 man. Right. Hey, that, that, that's that's like the toilet saying, "Why am I the toilet?" Hey, why you gotta sit on me? Come on, now, dog. Right. Why you you was created me? for a purpose. The, the, you was created for a purpose. Now you gonna fulfill this purpose. I got a free stuff for you, brother. Back that up, bro. <laughs> this is Mark chapter thirty three and verse thirteen. As the clay is in the part of his hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him God. to render to them as like him best. Yeah. So this the, the Lord has made you to like him best. Whatever the Lord got you doing, that's what he wants you to do. Because hey. like the like the scriptures say he got spirits created for vengeance, man. That's right. God. You know, so the Lord create the righteous, he create the unrighteous. He create the godly, he create the ungodly. So if you talking like that, the Lord must have made the Lord made you that way, man. And it's his pleasure to make you that way because he's gonna right. destroy you. Lord can do whatsoever, whithersoever he pleases, man. Whatever he wants. Because he made it. This is movie. <laughs> right. Exactly. You is he control you. You don't control you. The elders say it all the time, man. You know, if you collect something, say you got uh, you got you got you got hoodies, right? You got your favorite hoodie. You go and grab your favorite hoodie, man. Your other hoodie's not gonna talk back to you like, yo, damn, why you ain't pick me? Come on. Right. <laughs> D- don't worry about it. I'm choose what well, I'm gonna choose because I'm gonna choose that, I and I got the power to. Cool. The Lord say, "Ain't no um." Roughly paraphrase it. There's no respect of persons, man. The Lord is a respect of person. Come so, on. the Lord gonna have mercy on who he gonna have mercy. <laughs> Simple as that, bro. Yeah. But um, back on these, back on uh, this ancient past. Come on. Can somebody got to do the run me uh, six? And I think started like six. I got you. Well, I'm finna hit this one. Uh, this throughout this first Corinthians ten, and I'm gonna start at eleven. It said, "Now all these things happen unto them for for in samples, and all I mean, and they are written for our admon. I mean, admonishing upon whom the ends of the world are to come. So basically, all these things." Basically, it's like um, Romans 15 and 4, man. All these things are written for ensembles, man. These things are written for us to see, man. So for we us can, to learn from. For us to learn from. For us from. to get a, get us back on track, man. For us to take heed to, man. Come because like the scripture said, the Lord said that he, we, we moved the most out of wrath, bro. Not for our destruction, but because we moved in the wrath. Come That's on. why we was amongst the other nations, amongst our enemies. Because we broke, we disobeyed how by Shema was shot. You know, so now we got to come back to that ancient path. So that we can receive that mercy, man. But I, I got a priest of the brother on it. Uh, this dude, I'm going to start at 4. Okay. And I'm going to uh, read to 8. It say, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4. It say, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our power is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. So what is loving the Lord, man? Keep his commandments, right? Come. Yeah, keep going. It say, And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bend them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thy eyes. So they go be as frontlets like glasses, man, because we go see these commandments, like basically what brothers saying, meditate upon these daily, man. These gonna be like glasses. These commandments which the Lord speaks upon us, man. They gonna be frontless in our eyes, man. Just he's uh, speak. I mean, teach it to all, basically all the generations, man. When you sit it down, when you go us up, you go right. think about it, man. Come, cause you know you you supposed to, you supposed to eat this, man. You supposed to let this fill your belly, man. Come. You know, you supposed to eat and drink this world, man. 
And when you meditate on something, you, you really think about it, man. You really process it in your head. And you do this daily, man. You think about the most high every day, man. That's us following these ancient paths, man. Come on, man. Remembering who you are. You know? Right. Remember who the most high is and knowing what he can do to you, man. Can't having that fear, man. That humility. You know? Y'all gonna end on that? Y'all got anything else? Um Yeah, yeah, we getting on that con. Uh yeah, man. Uh yeah, man. In conclusion, man, take heed into this word, man. It's here for a reason, man. Follow the ancient, we got to return back to the ancient past, man. But yeah, with that being said, man, we're going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Salutations to all the other Akim, pushing his word with true sincerity and with charity. Shalom and Abba Babal. Abba Babal.